Well, hello there, Virgo. It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. So today we are doing your weekly tarot. This is good for June 13th through the 19th. We'll take a look at your overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support of my channel. Okay, so let's jump into it. Nightingale spirit, love is all around a Virgo. <laughs> I love this energy. Um, I'm not sure I've seen this card in some time. So, you know, um, and it's green. That's the heart chakra. I feel as if you're stepping, you know, it's love is all around. It's not just love around you. I feel like you are truly, with the green there, truly stepping into an energy of loving. You know, loving yourself, loving your life, loving your friends, loving the things that you're doing. It's just this, yeah, I love life type of energy. So what do we have? Spirit of gratitude. Wow. <laughs> really lovely energy. Yeah, just being grateful for everything that has brought you to this point on your path. You know, after, you know, you have had, um, I mean, your your energy has been higher lately, like the last month or so. But you, you know, you did, you have gone through the obstacles. Um, and so it's this energy of just, it's almost like you know that you've gone through the worst of it. And so now you're in this energy of just being grateful, you know, being grateful that, that cycle is, you know, you've learned those lessons, you're ready for new, but it's kind of this energy of just, yeah, just really enjoying life. So I really love that for you. Okay, so let's go to the tarot. Let's see what we have here. Lovely. Higher fit on the bottom, long-term committed relationship, situation, job. Uh, something that's based in your belief systems. You know, you're you're trying to make a decision. Wow, you got a big decision. You got a um, a message coming in um, about a big decision. I feel like it it may be it could be a love, but it's also um, perhaps your career and money sector here. So let's see what we have here in your present energy. You have the Eight of Swords. You know, caught up in your head about something. Um, which is so different than this. So I feel like, you know, if you're starting the week off like this, I think you get into this grateful energy by the end of the week because um, you're, you're concerned. Let's see what you're concerned about. Knight of Wands. You know, a little bit of player energy. There could... Um, I think you're, you, there's a little bit of confusion over, uh, over, <laughs> I'm going to tell you back about work. It could be about work. There's a little bit of confusion about how to choose what, how to move forward in a career, a job, or a relationship. Um, there's a little bit of confusion, like you may have a lot of choices, um, if you're looking for a new job, you may have more than one opportunity and you're a little bit confused about how to choose the one that's best for you. The lover's card is, you know, about love. It can be a partnership, um, either business or romantic, but it's also the old choice card, making choices that are good for you, for your highest good. And I feel like you have, you know, you're, you're kind of caught up in your head. You're not really sure what option is best for you. You know, you're, you're trying to look at this. You're trying to get the clarity about, you know, what job is the best job. Or, you know, even if you don't have some jobs to choose, it's kind of like, you can be even thinking about, like, I want to make a change, but I don't know what I would want to do. You know, like, I'm done with my career uh, this career, I, I'm ready to move into some new career or some new type of job, but you're just not sure. Like, what is that? You know, I mean, you may still have your job, but it's kind of like you're looking for something else and you're just not really sure what is going to make you truly happy. You could be thinking about moving, you know, to a new city and 
like just not really sure what is going to make you happy it's almost as if you're you're looking for somebody to tell you <laughs> what to do um a really difficult time you may be um it's interesting for some of you you could be even like calling um a parent or somebody that's older and wiser you know than you asking them their opinion you know because you're just like i just don't know which way to go um yeah just a sense of not knowing yeah and then we have the lovers card underneath that and the queen of cups and the seven of cups really a call to follow your heart what is it that your heart is truly telling you i think you are seriously not sure what is going to make you happy um i think you may have had something in your life that you thought was going to make you happy and then you got it and it was kind of like it confused you because it was like oh it didn't really bring me the true happiness that i was looking for because your area of resistance or your obstacle is the nine of cups this is your what you're wishing and hoping for in life but this is your obstacle i feel like you're not even sure what it is that you truly want huh let's see oh wow knight of pentacles this is this is a journey for you um i think you're looking at a past situation perhaps career or business oriented you're looking at a past situation you see how the emperor is looking to the past trying to um almost reconnect to that childlike energy of being you know six of cups can be like a childhood dream or something like that i feel like you know you're older you're wiser you you've gained a lot of experience like the emperor but you're looking to the past and and trying to figure out well what what did i think was going to make me happy when i was younger because it's like you're grown up and you're kind of like i still haven't figured it out um and you have the hermit energy going within this is your energy virgo going within knowing that you have the answers within and but i i get the clear distinction that you're trying to find the answers on the external uh, uh, it's like <laughs> you're calling your friends your family you're you're kind of like what should i do and the answer is within you um once again you could be trying you could be if you're you could be calling like an old boss or or a mentor or a teacher for some of you i feel like you might be calling a, a teacher you're or a parent a grandparent you, you're looking you're looking for counsel I, I really get a sense that you're looking for counsel so let's see what this knight of swords i mean the king of swords is you have this twice so this is gemini libra aquarius energy um you could be calling one of them for some counsel or dealing with one of them page of wands you, you want to go explore you want to go explore You want to go explore and I, I feel like you want to go you want to go in on some new path this is it you want to go in some new direction but i think you have the answer within you what direction it is that you want to go on it's as if you want somebody to say to you you want you're going to the emperor the king of swords or the hierophant right and you're saying um what do you think should i do this and they're kind of like the answer is within you <laughs> and you're like i don't want that answer i just want to know like if i go in this new direction will the wheel turn in my way will uh, will the blessings come will i have the money you know can will this work out for me really interesting energy because you really want to go it's holding you back you know the king of swords could also be somebody in your life uh it could be gemini libra aquarius but the king of swords is somebody that is very analytical you could be too much in your head too much analyzing i feel like you're worried about money like will i have the money to go on this adventure will i have the money to go in this new direction like really concerned about money 
And so you're you're getting so caught up in your head, over analyzing the situation. And it's all about going back. What you're missing out is going back to your heart. What does your heart tell you? What does your heart want you to do? It's almost as if you're talking yourself out of it because you get into your heart space and you're like, yeah, I want to go on that trip. I want to start that new business. I want I want this adventure of a lifetime. I want to go get a new romance, whatever it is. It's like a big shift for you, right? And you get in your heart space and you get all excited about it. And then it's kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. King of Swords, your, your ego comes in or you have somebody in your life that starts talking you out of it. Do you know how much money that's going to cost for a go? Like, you can't do that. And you're kind of like, well, but I really want to. And you're trying to defend your position, but uh, uh, this is the, uh, the message I'm getting. When your heart wants to do something, you don't have to, to defend the position. <laughs> you just say, because this is something I want to do. And you just go do it. And when you step into that energy, you know that the universe will back you. You know, it's this energy of uh, stepping onto the fool's path you know people you're it's almost like you're so afraid of of looking foolish that you won't do this but it's the energy of of yes go do it be grateful for the experience be grateful for what is out there because here you have the eight of pentacles you know um yeah Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is so interesting because the only thing that is holding you back, for some of you, I do feel like this is a new business you want to start or something tangible that you really want to bring into your life. Um, and it could be like a trip or something like that. There, there is something that you really want to go do, right? Um, it's... It's right there. You have the nine of pentacles, right? It's something I, I think you want to do on kind of on your own. But it's that ten of cups energy of, yeah, this is something I really and truly want. But the only thing that's holding you back is your own energy of being concerned that this is the wrong, you know, it's going to cost too much or I'm not good enough for it or it's just too crazy, you know? Virgo, you can be very, you know, kind of like, um, you know, a rule follower, a little bit of a rule follower, right? And it's kind of like, this is so out of character. And it's kind of like, yeah, but I still want to do it. Go do it, Virgo. Uh, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Yeah, that's a good question. The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Yeah, and you know, I really feel like that's it. You're, you may be surrounded. You know, there's this energy of trying to defend your position. That you just want to go do this, right? But it's kind of like there's other people that are critiquing it, analyzing it, telling you why it's not a good idea. And yet you're like, yeah, but I just want to. All right. Well, your soul's calling you to go do something. You don't have to defend it. What you may need to do is find some other people in your life that lift you up to make you feel wonderful. I feel like you have people perhaps that are critiquing what you're doing, scrutinizing what you're doing, judging what you're doing, and you're trying to follow your heart. Your heart is calling you to go do something. So, Go do it, Virgo. <laughs> Give yourself the permission, the grace, the compassion, the gratitude, that knowing that there are loving people out there that will support you when you step into the energy of supporting yourself and following your own heart. Really interesting energy here. Um, well, I do wish you much love and light. I do do personal readings. If you're interested, the link is in the description box below. Um, I do um, really and truly appreciate all of your support of my channel through liking, commenting, or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. And have a great week, Virgo. See you soon. Bye for now.